Hello and welcome back to my kitchen at home. Now before we get started, I just want to say a quick thank you to Squarespace for supporting this video. Squarespace offers a complete all-in-one platform to help create websites and even online stores and you can check them out and take advantage of a unique offer code using the link in the description box below. But for now, let's get on with the recipe. If you've subscribed to my channel for a while, then you've almost certainly watched my rainbow cake video, which is the most popular video on the channel. It's got over three million views, which is bonkers. Uh, so rainbows obviously aren't going anywhere soon, so I thought three years on that I would pimp the rainbow, and this video is for a triple rainbow cake. I've got a vanilla cake, just a plain white vanilla cake here. You can use whatever um, cake you like. You can even make the rainbow cake and make this a quadruple rainbow cake, but I mean, that will take ages. Um, just whatever your favorite cake is, and I've got a seven inch uh, cake, and I've already trimmed the sides to seven inches and also leveled it using a cake leveler, so it's all ready to go. I've also got here some white vanilla buttercream, and this is four times my usual recipe. So go and click the link for the recipe for that. And so I'm gonna mix my colors up. I'm gonna do purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red, just like a real rainbow. Obviously, there's way more colors in a rainbow, but I ain't got time for that. So I've got my six bowls here. I'm using paste colors, as I normally do, and if you want to know a bit more about buttercream, how to color it, and what to use, then check out my masterclass video, because there's a lot going on in there. Um, but it's super concentrated color paste, which is why I like to use it, because it doesn't change the consistency of the icing too much. That's perfect. So now I'm gonna carry on with the rest of the colors, using a little bit more each time as I work my way up to red. So I've mixed up all my colours and I've put them into piping bags and I haven't put nozzles in them or anything because six nozzles is quite a lot. I'm just going to snip the ends off. So now I'm going to start decorating the cake um, and I'm going to use a turntable because it does make things a lot easier. You can do it without but it, it just makes it much easier. And I've also got uh, an eight inch cake drum and if you want to know more about the essentials of cake decorating I have done a, spe a special essentials kit video so check that out. Um, and I'm going to start with my first layer but first I'm just going to put a small amount of buttercream just to stick the cake onto the board. And this is where things start to get interesting because I'm about to make a rainbow inside my cake. So I'm gonna start by piping a circle of red around the outside. And now an orange circle right next to that one. And then just keep going with all your colors until you get to the purple in the middle. So now I've done one layer, I just need to keep going till I reach the top. Okay, so we've got our rainbows inside and now I'm gonna give this cake a crumb coat so that we're gonna be ready to do the rainbow on the outside. So crumb coat's done, now this needs to go into the fridge to chill out for about 20 minutes. While my cake is chilling out in the fridge, I'm going to get on with making the next part of my rainbow cake, which is an actual rainbow. And this is gonna sit on the top and it's gonna be really cute. And I'm making it out of sugar paste, which I have added gum tragacanth to. And what that does is turns it into modeling paste, which means that a sugar paste, which is normally nice and squishy, will dry quite firm. So you can make things like models and rainbows out of it. So I'm gonna start with my purple, just get a little piece of it. And I want to make that into a sausage, uh, kind of the width of a pencil, I guess, maybe a little bit smaller than that. So I'm just gonna roll it between my hands to get that started. And then just put it onto the board and using both hands and gently kind of pulling out at the same time, just roll it back and forth until it becomes a long sausage. Now you only need about three or four centimeters of this. I'm just gonna use a sharp scalpel to trim it. And then I'm gonna put it onto this little board here and curve it round. So I will use that as a template for the rest of my colors. And now repeat that with the blue. Now with this one, I'm gonna trim one end Take it over to my purple and then line it up on one side and curl it around to the other side and that way you know how long it's supposed to be. And then just keep going with the rest of your colours until you get to the red. Now 
So now that we've got everything the right size and in the right place, we just need to fix it all together. And I'm going to be using edible glue. You can use a small amount of water. It will do a similar thing, but this is really, really strong stuff. So because this rainbow is going to be sitting upright, it's best to use the strong stuff. So if you can get hold of edible glue, do. But for now, push away all the colours. And now using a small paintbrush and a very small amount of the glue, I'm going to paint a thin line just around the top of my rainbow. And now I'm just going to bring my blue, line it up, and then gently press it together. And then just keep going. All right, so it's looking like a pretty cute rainbow, but it's not gonna really hold itself up on its own. So I'm gonna use little toothpicks, which I've trimmed a bit by about an inch, and I'm going to just paint the tips of them with the edible glue and then stick them in the bottom. And then you just need to let that set, ideally overnight, but it should set quite firm within a few hours. Now things are going to get really exciting because I am going to show you how to do a six colour rainbow ombre on a cake. Amazing, right? So I'm going to start with my purple. I've got my cake out of the fridge. It's been in there for 20 minutes and it is nice and cool. I've got it on my turntable because that's going to make life a lot easier. And I also have a small cranked palette knife. And it's important to use a small one because you've got a lot of colours to do on this cake. And if you use a big fat palette knife, you're just going to get too much icing on. So I'm going to start by applying my purple icing to the very bottom. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a small amount onto my palette knife and just a little section at a time, applying it quite thickly to my cake. Now, obviously, there's a lot of icing here, and I've got to fit six colours, so I'm going to tidy things up a little bit. So I'm just cleaning my palette knife off onto my bowl, and then around this side, I'm going to just tidy up the top ledge of that colour. I'm just going to wipe my palette knife, because I'm now going to move on to the blue, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing, just on top of that purple. Now I'm going to keep going and don't worry, it does look very scrappy and like there's way too much icing at this point, but that's absolutely as it should be because we're going to take the excess off, uh, but for now just keep going until you reach the top. Now after the orange it's obviously time for red, but I'm going to start with the top first and work my way down, so I'm going to just blob a bit of this buttercream onto the top and spread it out. Now as you can see, the red icing is kind of blobbed over the side and we're going to use that to fill in the gaps, but I'm going to need a little bit more. Now it's covered, but it's very scrappy and messy, so this is the cool bit and this is where I smooth everything out and get rid of the excess. So I've got myself a cake scraper here, which is very straight and hard and cool. And very gently and carefully, I'm going to take away the excess. <laughs> so as you can see, my rainbow is taking shape. I've got a lot of excess uh, mess on this. I'm going to scrape that off onto some baking paper because I don't need it anymore. Now you're scraping off the excess, but you don't want to scrape off all the icing. So do be gentle um, and you'll see that you'll have some air bubbles. Just keep going around and gently smoothing those out. They'll go eventually. And now that you've got the sides cleaned up, you would notice that the icing on the top has become quite messy. So very gently, using your cake scraper, brush it in to the middle from the outside. Okay, it's looking really good. My board's a little bit messy, so I'm just going to use my cake scraper to just scrape off this messy purple icing that's got all over it. So it's time to finish this off. So I've got my rainbow inside, I've got my rainbow on the outside, and now it's time to put my rainbow on the top to complete my triple rainbow cake. So I'm just going to grab my little rainbow. I made this one yesterday, so this one's nice and firm. And I'm going to poke him in right in the middle. And I've got a little bit of white buttercream left, so I'm going to finish the cake off with a few clouds. Ta-da! How cute is my triple rainbow cake? It is so rainbowy and exciting. Triple rainbow, it's so intense! What does this mean? Well, I hope this satisfies the unicorn in you, and please let me know if you make this by tagging me in Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag CupcakeGemma. And don't forget you can subscribe to my channel, and you can share this video, and comment on it, and chat to each other, and make friends.
And thanks once again to Squarespace for supporting this video. Building your own website is brilliant if you are thinking about starting your own baking business or even if you just want a cute way to show off your creations, but it can be tricky if, like me, you're not very good with computers and code. Squarespace makes it really easy with award-winning designer templates, 24-7 customer service, online stores and domains. If you've been thinking about starting your own website, then check them out at squarespace.com. There's a free trial and if you use offer code Gemma, then you'll get 10% off your first purchase. Let them know you heard about them here and that your next move with Squarespace. I'll see you next week. Bye.